In this video, we'll see how you can best obtain your SSIDs for the purposes of CASP assessments through ARIES. So we're going to go ahead and log in ARIES first and foremost. And once we're here, we're going to look on the left hand side and go to where we see view all reports. Now the next step is we're going to select where we see report name for class rosters. And you're going to be taken to a screen that looks like this. Now, by default, it may look slightly different, but we do want our screen, for the most part, to appear just as mine does. So, report format, PDF. The delivery is none because it's going to directly download to our device. We're going to make sure that it is checked for attendance roster. And then we want to make sure that the sort is set for teacher and section. And that only these two options are checked. And then the last one we do need to have check out is add fields to the printout. And what we're doing is we're adding the in ARIES referred to as the CID, but in essence, it's the SSID report, the student identification. And so I'm gonna come right here in this little first box option, and I'm gonna type in the letter CID. And one of the things you can just be, for, be sure, you can select from the drop down, And once you do that, you can scroll across and you can see that in ARIES, the CID is referring to the student's state student ID. Then make sure I have that correct report. And then I'm gonna come on down. This is making sure that this is in fact the course. Now it would look slightly different and there's a different video if you have multiple periods. But in this case, it's a 3-5, a teacher with a self-contained one class. Make sure that that's your course. And I'm gonna click run report. Very quickly, since my report is ready, you can go ahead and download the report or you can view the report. I click view and automatically you'll see that it downloads as a PDF. I'm gonna go ahead and click that and open it. And when I do, I can see all of my student names as well as the CID. And remember that column for the CID is the SSID for the purposes of CASP. And that's it. That's how quickly you may obtain those for your particular students. If you have any questions, let us know.